Hey, what's going on? I know a little bit of a different look, not only from your perspective of things, but I know I I decided I'm gonna try to rock the mustache. I think it's working out pretty good. I think I could pull it off, so I'm gonna rock it for a little bit, you know. Definitely keeps things a little bit cooler here on the face. But it's uh, not what this whole video is about. So this is really an unplanned video. It wasn't even, it wasn't even scheduled, uh, but it's just a little update and a little bit of unfortunate news for me and the channel, um, you know, as usual. Thankfully, nothing's wrong with the car. Car's fine, other than its usual little annoying things, but you know, we just lost the Draggy not long ago. You know, that was an important tool for content creation on my channel, at least. And I just lost probably the biggest piece of equipment gear um, that I've had for content creation on my channel, and that was my GoPro. I unfortunately, I don't know, I guess it could have been prevented had I just not been is uh i guess cheap about it but you know you know my story i have been struggling a little bit with money so long story short the batteries that go in the gopro well the ones i had started to swell a little bit so they would kind of get wedged in the gopro you know and uh one battery in particular um had swelled really bad and it did it inside the camera i had got the camera all together um, I was going to do a video actually, I was doing a video yesterday, I had the camera together the night before, so that way I could just next morning grab it and go, and evidently somewhere along the way that battery swelled up inside of the camera, and it got stuck in there, so after I got done recording that video, I got home, you know, I wanted to go pull the battery out, so pull the memory card out, whatever, and I couldn't get the battery out, so I did everything I could to get it out, you know, they have these little plastic strap pull thingies on them, you can pull them out, but I couldn't pull it out with my fingers, took a pair of pliers, ripped the plastic thing off, I'm like, crap, so I'm like, okay, how am I supposed to get this out of here, so I have, you know, some small pry tools and whatnot, so I wouldn't try to easily, you know, gently kind of just pull it up and, and, and uh, try to pry it out, and couldn't, so I got a screwdriver, flathead, just just the end of it wedge it in there and just kind of work it out and I don't know what happened I don't know if I punctured the battery accidentally or the battery just completely just took a dump but you know good old lithium batteries it started to spark inside the camera I'm like crap no please so you know I ran outside I ran out to near the sand just in case the thing decided to just burst into flames and it you know the battery just ended up sparking itself just enough it pretty much fused itself to the inside of the camera I'm like oh no so eventually I was able to get that battery out after a cool down I worked it out um, and I put a new battery in and I guess from the smoke and the heat from the battery and starts, you know, sparking and doing its thing, it ruined the camera. Like it wouldn't stay on. It kept turning on and off and the screen, the touch screen was no longer working. The, you know, the display part of it was fine, but the part that, you know, recognizes your touch, that part had failed. So yeah, that really sucks because What's really bad about it is I really thought GoPro prices have went down, but no, they have stayed up. And I was using the GoPro Hero 8. Um, I never decided to upgrade to the 9 or 10. I never thought I needed to. The other cameras don't do any more than I really need, so I stayed with the 8. And even the 7s are going more than the 8s now, and you can't even get a 7 new anymore. Um, so, but second hands. Uh, GoPro Hero 7s are for more money than 8s. Uh, but you can still get 8s new and you can still get them on the shelf. So today, you know, right now I'm going to Best Buy and going to pick up a new camera. The sucky part about this is really there was no money allotted for this expense, but I need the camera, otherwise, I can't really do most of the content 
I do for my channel. You know, the other cameras I have are for different types of video. You know, usually my big camera, my mirrorless DSLR, I use that for, you know, cinematic stuff when I do it occasionally, B-roll, drones for cinematic stuff, B-roll, you know, just unique shots. The GoPro is the all-in-one. I carry it around. It does everything. Goes with me. Camera. You know, and I really would like to upgrade to maybe just a nice point and shoot. Um, that way I have a better picture quality. But there are no cameras on the market for the price of a GoPro that offers the image quality um, that the GoPro offers and 4K 60, you know, 4K resolution at 60 frames per second. That's what I use. Even though I don't really use 4K now because I don't have my computer to process it. Um, I still like to shoot in a higher resolution and render down to 1080. It just looks better than shooting in 1080 and rendering at 1080. Uh, when you do that, it looks more fuzzy and not as sharp. So, and all the other cameras on the market, you know, that do, that point and shoots that do shoot 4K at 60 frames per second, uh, you know, you're looking at five, $600 minimum for a point and shoot. And I'm like, man, I almost didn't pay that much for my freaking, you know, Panasonic G9. So I'm not looking to spend that kind of money on that kind of camera. Uh, so of course I went with, uh, you know, good old GoPro. It's, it's really hard to go with or not go with. The moral of the story here is the money that we, is going now towards a GoPro was supposed to go towards a new draggy. My YouTube money for this month, uh, you know, I'll get paid in a couple weeks, was supposed to go towards a new draggy. So now I'm gonna have to wait a whole nother month, you know, until I get paid again from YouTube until I get a new draggy. So that all gets pushed back even further, but the GoPro is an absolute necessity in the production of my videos. The draggy is not a necessity, but it is an important tool nonetheless. And there are a lot of videos that I've been unable to do because I don't have my draggy. So that's why, you know, there was supposed to be a video upload yesterday. Unfortunately, there wasn't because I had the mishap with the GoPro. Um, getting the new one today, so I'm gonna try to remake that video today if I have time. I'm doing everything on my spare time here between work and whatnot. So I'm going to try to get uh, the video re-recorded and um, ready for tomorrow, I guess. And I'll just pick things back up where it was. But I tell you, always feels like it's one step forward and two steps back. But got to keep walking. So that's what we're going to do here. And I'm just going to keep moving forward. And what can you do? Anyway, that's it for this video. Keep a lookout for the next true car enthusiast video.